Hi everyone, just a quick video on how to uh, make sure that your alternator is functioning correctly. So, first of all, you need your battery voltage, which I've got here on the multimeter. So I've set it to 20 DC volts, which is that little logo next to the V there, that's DC. And I'm getting a, a battery voltage of 12.66 or thereabouts. So that's your baseline really for this test. What we're looking for when we start the car is the voltage to increase because the alternator will be refilling the battery and running all the electrical systems on the car. What we're looking for realistically is between 13.8 and 14.8 volts. So let's start the car and see what we get. So at the moment then we're getting a reading of around about 14 volts. As the uh, current flows around the circuit, it gets less resistance, it will build up a little bit. So we'll just let that stabilise at around 14.1, which is okay, but it's a little bit on the low side. So the alternator on this car is at least five years old for the time that I've had it. So the brushes between the stator and the rotor might be wearing out, reducing contact and therefore not being quite as efficient. The second way of testing the alternator is to see how responsive it is to extra load. So. What I'm going to do next is basically jump in the car, turn the lights and the heater on full blast and then see if there's a, there might be a momentary drop in the voltage as the alternator uh, reacts to it. We'd hope then to see it recover and to be within 0.1 volt really of, of where we are right now. So I'm going to pop you guys down and I'm going to jump in the car and put some load through it. As you can see, with the lights on, with the heater going full blast, it has dropped nearly 0.2 volt, which yet again is the top end of acceptable really. I wouldn't want it going much lower than that. So my taking from this video is that the, the battery is okay. The alternator's in serviceable condition, but it's not brilliant. So um, I'll be keeping an eye on it over the, over the next few months. Thanks, hope it makes sense. Uh, if you do like what you've seen, please do subscribe, like and comment below what you'd like me to do next. Thanks very much.